Jesus wants to speak, so I'm going to speak with Jesus. Come divine will, speak in my speaking. Forgot my microphone, sorry about that. A possible solution for the Confucian folks. Um, Jesus does talk in the diaries occasionally about the confusion of these times. So this is from Pope St. John Paul II's document, Novo Millennio Iniente, which he wrote in 2001, an incredibly beautiful document. This is from the closing paragraphs. A new millennium is opening before the church, like a vast ocean upon which we shall venture, relying on the help of Christ. It's to be noted that in Louis's diaries, the divine will is an ocean. Book of Heaven, Volume 13, November 28, November 28th, 1921. I found myself inside an immense sea of light. One could see neither where it began nor where it ended. Louisa then goes on to talk about a boat made of light, which travels this sea of light at incredible speeds. I didn't want to go into that one on this video, because on this video, I'm focusing upon direction. My daughter, the sea that you see, that's English for you. I wonder if it reads like that in Italian, must ask my Italian friends. Um, maybe one of my Italian friends can pop a note in the box underneath in the comments and just say, how does it read in the Italian? So the sea that you see is my will. My will is light. And no one can cross this sea except the soul who wishes to live in its light. There's a challenge there, folks. There is both a spiritual challenge of bringing our lives fully into the light. But there is also the psychological challenge because our subconscious life is largely hidden. The YouTube search on it, the hidden side, the shadow self, I think they talk about around 80 to 85% of our conscious of our subconscious being hidden. And when that comes to the surface, it can be very uncomfortable, a real dark night experience. Well, it's important because we have to encounter our shadow self. And it's an area of great, great spiritual growth, self-knowledge. This is John Paul II again. I feel more than ever duty bound to point to the Second Vatican Council as the great grace bestowed on the church in the 20th century. There we find a sure compass by which to take our bearings in the century now beginning. Pope St. John Paul II. That is also from Novo Millennio Iniante. It's a, couple of par it's a paragraph or so before the previous quote. Now, when I was reading this, I noticed the word compass, which I've un underlined. Compass solves confusion. How do we get across an ocean? How do we get across a sea? Remember the 21st century, the vast ocean, the divine will, the sea of light. How do we get across it? We need a compass. A compass always points north. And therefore, whichever direction we're traveling in, if the compass is pointing north, we just have to follow the direction that we want to go in, whether it's south, east, west, south, south, east, south, south, west, etc. We just, it's a guide, especially when there is no sun in the sky, cloudy day, overcast, misty, dark, etc. No guiding lights. And in the church today, there is much confusion because many people, especially some of the more vocal people out there, do not accept teachings of Vatican II, um, or they are choosy about the teachings of Vatican II, or the changes in the liturgy. This causes confusion. We need to go forward, not backwards. Several popes have said that. How to move forward? The Vatican II is a sure compass. The teachings of Vatican II Pope John Paul II said, are a sure compass by which we take our bearings in the, the century now beginning. This is one way to get through the confusion.
Now, Jesus talks about the boat that is traveling across the sea of the divine world. You are that boat. Your soul is that boat. Jesus is the captain of this boat. I am the one who guides it speedily along its course. I plunge it deep within me to give it rest. I'm trying to assimilate with it itself the secrets of my will. Notice that word rest, folks. Elsewhere in the diaries, Jesus talks about when he speaks a word, he goes silent. And Louise is saying, well, why are you silent? I'm resting in the word I've spoken. So it's good for us to read the diaries and then to contemplate what Jesus has spoken to us without dashing from one entry to another, trying to gorge ourselves, as it were. That's a bit of an unkind word in some ways, but sometimes that's the way we can be. We can read the diaries like they're a novel rather than contemplating the mysteries that Christ is revealing to us. Okay, so you are that boat. Jesus is the captain. So now we have a compass, the teachings of Vatican II. The writings of Louisa, if you like, as well. But Pope John Paul II pointed towards the teachings of Vatican II. I shouldn't override his teachings, should I? And then Jesus is the captain of the boat. Now, let's get some incredible beauty as well. Oh, once again, I've done it very, very small. <laughs> On this journey, this is the end of Novo Millennium, or towards the end, when, for certainly towards the final paragraph. On this journey, we are accompanied by the Blessed Virgin Mary, to whom I entrusted the third millennium. So this millennium has been entrusted to Our Lady. During this year, 2001, I have often invoked her as the star of the new evangelization. Remember that star is what guided or guides people across oceans before the era of the compass, etc. Now I point to Mary once again as the radiant dawn and the sure guide for our steps, like the dawn of the divine will. So we have the compass, the teachings of the church, the teachings of Vatican II found in the catechism. And you can do a catechism in a year with Father Mike Smith. Still, it's all there on YouTube. So you have the compass. You have Jesus, the captain of your boat, who guides you across the sea of the divine will. And you have Our Lady, the star of the new evangelization. What we have to learn to do is be focused, focused upon the teachings, focused upon Jesus as the captain, we fix our gaze upon him, focused upon Mary as the star. So we do, do not lose sight of where the star is. Keep our eyes focused. We need to be focused to break free of all and any confusion. Fiat voluntas tua.